Aye, so hello, welcome to Once Driven Forever Smitten. This is a, a great day. We're taking the Astra GT16 valve down the Scottish borders just to basically show off why it's one of the greatest hot hatches ever made. Um, car's been it's sat in the ramp for about a year and it's been off road for an awfully long time and it's now um, it's finished basically. It's time to go and uh, have some fun with it. And it's could not be a better day. It's absolutely scorching. I'm going to run it through the water splashed in at Duns as well. Although it's probably going to be a trickle because it's not rained for weeks. That'll be fun though. You'll like this. I promise. What you see use this? This is the standard one. It came out of. Right. Okay. And what's in it? Some group end thing or something? Some group end. ECU. Oh well. Oh well. It's easy enough to put the ECU in it. It's just doing it the kick plate, isn't it? Aye. Just doing it. Aye. Okay. Just doing the side here. Ideal sound. Do we need tools? Have you got screwdrivers? Did yeah. you pick them up and shit? Yes, I've got a bit of right. tools for the job. Right, sound. Cat. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning and it must be well over 20 degrees. And we're just commenting on how good the GTE looks on these Mark III GSI wheels. That looks spot on. But we're just going to quickly change out the ECU because it's got one that's supposedly got a chip in it. So we're going to put a standard one in it uh, just to... See what that does. A bit of experimentation. That is roasting the day. And as soon as we've done that, we're on the road down to Duns, down the Scottish borders. Aye, so apparently the mucking about I did with the fuel pump relay and the crank sensor, it's now running better than it was, but it still just has this little um, cough to itself every now and again. So I'm just going to take this chipped ECU out it and put the normal one back in. See what the, see what that does. That's what's come out it. What does it say on it? Turn it the other way around. Retune Electronics 0141. Glasgow number. Oh, that's pretty random. Aye. Don't know what that's doing. So, aye. Standard one going back in it. See there, they're both FPs. And they've both got the same part number. But apparently this one has had something changed inside of it somewhere down the line. To give it a bit more grunt. So, I'm just going to put the original one back in it. I'm never entirely convinced with these things sometimes, what the difference that they make when the car was uh, fast in the first place. So, uh, let's do that and get in our way. Uh, we're just um, at Path Head at the moment, on the A68, on the way down to Duns. This is the furthest this car's been in ages, years. It's, uh, our roads are pretty quiet. It's running nicely as well, dead smooth. I'm not sure what these wheels would be like, but they have been uh, they are balanced up properly. So it's sitting well with the road, nice and quiet. Just put a tank full of super unleaded in it and all. So first job is to go and see Derek Skeldon's new DAF XF for truck and driver. I'm going to do that and then go and um, do some video mucking about in the Scottish borders with this. It's, uh, it's uh, driving pretty fun. Suspensions, the firm, but it's not harsh, but still doesn't like some of the bumps we were getting back there. But we're just um, about half a mile away from uh, Skeldon's yard where the daff is. Up here on the left, somewhere. Aye, so that's us here just outside Duns. 
having a look at this um, DAF XF behind me, which has been done, uh, a special paint job, um, done as a tribute uh, by Derek Skeldon to his dad in the history of the company. It's a 16-speed manual and all, so it's quite a rare bit of kit. So this is going to be appearing in Truck and Driver magazine quite soon. And once we've, uh, uh, I've got all my notes and done what we need to do here, we'll go out and uh, have a, a wee run about, uh, run about the back roads where uh, the Jim Clark Rally and all that usually takes place for uh, uh, with the GTE. I've just stopped off in Duns, where it's surprisingly quiet. Not many people about, but I'm going to go and uh, get some ice cream. Duns is traditionally known for hosting the Jim Clark Rally, and it used to be the whole main street of the town used to be taken over by all the rally teams, and you could walk about the cars and all that sort of stuff. Um, I don't know what's happening with it, um, if it's coming back next year or what sort of format it's going to have, but like 20 years ago, it was brilliant back in the day. So we're going to go down and uh, run the car along a couple of wee bits, a uh, couple of famous uh, locations for uh, the Jim Clark Rally, uh, the Langton Water Splash, which uh, we'll see how Kenzo feels about running the car back and forward through that a few times in the interests of good video clips. But we're going to get an ice cream first, because it'd be rude not to. Ice cream cone success, most important part of the day. Uh, mint chalk chip and uh, vanilla tablet. It's just like nut job central. That Hyundai just tried to overtake that golf and then they go, whoa, 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 oh, we've got a road rage on, we've got a road rage incident. Oh, this ought to be good. What, well, this thing's coming backwards now. Fucking bunch of idiots, man. What a fucking knob end. Unsuitable for heavy goods vehicles, damn right it is. Oh, then he meets on around these corners because it gets a bit tight. I need it to go yet. Bloody great big long queue for the Sheriff Hall roundabout. Ah. Knew no should have went through Dalkeith. Oh well. Nothing for it but to trundle. Along, this is needing overpass badly, but at least the traffic does tend to keep moving. 
Ah, it's a grand queue of traffic going another way in the bypass as well now. Sunny Sunday afternoon though. See what's really quite surprising about the GT16 valve is how quiet and comfy it is sitting at uh, motorway speeds. You can cruise along in this thing all day, rack hundreds of miles up and you wouldn't feel tired at the end of it. I always had a, a recollection that these were a lot noisier and harsher but I think a, a lot of it's to do with the fact that this is just so original. It doesn't have like, an aftermarket exhaust system on it and it hasn't even dropped 60 mil. Um, and it's just got that nice original feel to it. Uh, aye, just, uh, we're on the Edinburgh bypass and now we're going to go back to West Calder and fire a set of spark plugs in the car because it's still got a wee minor misfire and then decide what to do about this massive cruise at Irvine because we're getting told that it'll take like two bloody hours uh, to get in there because there's enormous queues and as much fun as the cruise itself sounds I'm not entirely sure I want to sit for two hours in this heat because it's it was all cloudy down the borders but it's bloody boiling it's here again Oh again now so I'll not be long, not be long till we're back back at base anyway Right, we're just back at the house for a pit stop uh, to go and change the spark plugs in the Astra GTE before we head over to this Irvine thing because apparently it's going to get super busy. See, it was cloudy down the borders, but it's scorching here again. So that's good, but didn't really fancy queuing for two hours and uh, blistering heat either. Um, but I've got a set of spark plugs that were, I was going to put in the Omega but never bothered because it was too difficult. So they'll come in handy now and hopefully that will solve that wee uh, stutter that the car's got that's come back again. I've also got to go and send a deposit because I'm buying another Vectra, the same colour as that one, to uh, go and make one good one out the two. So I'll need to nip in and do that as well while I'm here. Hope these spark plugs are in here. Yes they are. Uh, one, two, three, four. Beautiful, they'll do the job. Aye, because um, obviously this is um, on the road and all that and obviously well you'll be seeing the other video just shortly uh, but I don't really like driving about in it with a different coloured front end it looks sketchy and it's got pull me police written all over it see here uh, it's AC Delco spark plugs that have come out at, um, and we think they may well be ones that I put in the car which would be a long time ago um, these are twin electrode NGKRs which were destined for the Omega's V6 engine but they fit uh, an XE just the same. Uh, the early XEs like this use single electrode spark plugs as standard but you can fit twin electrode ones just the same, it doesn't make any difference. So we'll just fire these in and get on our way. See these 20 mile an hour speed limits? We've just come into Breach, and you see, I mean, it's a big wide road set back from the, uh, you know, the houses are set back from the main part of the road and we've just come in and somebody's stood on the brakes right down to like under 20 mile an hour which has um, caused somebody behind to go and like sit right up their arse so they're just winding each other up and it's all just stupid um, of course you're supposed to be do, you're supposed to do the speed limit and you certainly shouldn't be tailgating people either but the fact is that these 20 mile an hour speed limits are far too slow for the road they're just nonsense they're not doing anything for uh, road safety at all and you just know that we're going to be stuck with them permanently right so apparently this um, big Irvin cruise thing is absolutely heaving but I've been getting some like uh, Facebook messages saying that um, there's some Vauxhalls parked there and 
um, they might be, be able to shuffle up a bit and squeeze us in. Um, so we'll see what happens there now. I think that's the phone maybe ringing. <laughs> this is quite funny, like, because we've got people in the literal supercars, like Audi RSs who are flashing and giving the thumbs up and everything to the old GTE. <laughs> find somewhere to park, if there are any places to park. <laughs> Don't know. Just uh, abandon it at the side of the road somewhere, I guess. I don't know. Take it there's a roundabout down here where we can turn round. Plenty of stuff everywhere. Space on like a grassy area to our left. We don't know how we get onto it. If we can just um, squeeze ourselves in there, that'll do just perfectly. There's a nice looking cosy. Assuming that just left here, if we turn, we must be able to get in there okay. somehow. Hey, yeah. try and go down there where this course is going. No. No, you can't get in there, no? You sure? I know, like, that's, that's where all the other cars are right now. Right, right, right. Ah, we just... Aye, go in. Go in, right, go in, go in, go in, make an indicator. Aye, go in, and aye, go down and into... He's not gonna, because they're not gonna watch for you. Aye, go down and into that spot in there, where... Where this red thing's gone. Right, aye. Just bringe in here. Aye. Interesting. Speed bump. Well, that's alright. No problem for the GTE. Mint at Hunters of Spaces. Look at this. Go for a wee walk on the beach and everything. Hunters and Hunters and Hunters are going, aye. Just find a decent spot to go and park, I suppose. Better not um, park out. We didn't want to get boxed in, and we didn't want to go and park up in uh, in the midst of some days. Some um, owners' club, loaded cars. Uh, right, let's wait. There we go. We found the box, old people. So he's just moving the car round to where they're parked. 